for months now, they say the proposal is, is almost like a bad joke. In your perspective, how would you define this price gap? And then secondly, some argue this is a three-point plan. If there's no price gap, then you can't have an agreement on the other two because you can't separate and pick and choose. How do you see this? Well, first of all, uh, we've been uh, able to manage this energy crisis over the past few months by filling the gas storages, making sure that we reduce our uses of gas. And I'm very happy that we are also very close to an agreement on joint purchase and more solidarity, very important uh, for the preparations for next uh, winter. And the proposal that's on the table now regarding the market mechanism is flawed. Um, there is a lot of uh, risk uh, for uh, damaging the energy uh, security of supply um, and also for the stability of the financial market. So um, I'm also very critical on this proposal um, from a different point of view than some of my colleagues. And what do you say to those who argue, okay, this is a three-point plan, if you don't like the price cap, then we can agree to the other two points that include the joint purchases that you want. So what's a compromise then? I think, uh, well, first of all, uh, all uh, EU member states uh, have uh, these challenging high energy prices that are very uh, damaging for our households and our businesses. So everyone wants to calm the markets, lower the prices and make sure that we have a security of supply for the upcoming year. Uh, we've been able over the past 11 months to agree on a lot of things to make sure that the gas storages are filled, to make sure that we've calmed the markets and I will uh, work continuously to do so in the upcoming months.